Hello, I'm Scott with Sounds Photography, and today we're going to do a tabletop review of the different variations of the spider holster plates. Here we have Generation 1, Generation 2, and Generation 3. I opened up a box, I didn't realize I had so many of these plates. Um, only this one's the new one I just got, but these here, I had multiples of these. This one here is, again, version 1, and it has an extra quarter 20 thread for the ball joint right there. As you can see, across all three of these, we have quarter 20 threads all in the same spot right there for your release plates, for your tripods. This one here says right and left, where version 1 does not say right and left. Also, version 2 and version 3 has Lin orientation to which way they go. If we flip them over, now we can see the backs. You can see over here, these go all the way through. These are sealed. And this one over here is opened as well like version one. This one here, the Allen wrench or hex wrench, actually screws into this ball. Where these actually has the quarter 20 thread already mounted onto it and it screws into the plate. This one here has a silicone pads to keep it from slipping. These two don't. This one here has a tethering spot, so you can actually buy their little tethering kit that has a pigtail wire set up and it has a little plate and a screw and that little pigtail will come up through here. Let's go over the Allen wrench hex screw setup locations. So in version one, we have to push this to pull the Allen key or hex wrench out. This has like shrink wrap on it or something to keep it nice and sturdy in there. And it locks in or slides right into this little channel. And to release it, you have to press this side to get it out. This one here is spring loaded. So you, it springs in there and locks into this little channel over here. Same way with the newest version. That one's spring-loaded and it has a little spot for your hex or Allen key to slide into. Now there's other versions of this. I plan on getting the Argus Swiss version of the uh, to mount on as well as there's, there's a light version, which I will never own, but there is a light version of this for your mirrorless cameras. This one here is my favorite out of the bunch, just because the way the hex key mounts in and the smaller ergonomics of this one. This one here, I just doesn't feel right to me. Then it, this here kind of gets in my way where this one here, I like this one a lot better the way it feels on the camera. So, I mean, it's preference to the person who's ever getting these, uh, but this one here is my favorite compared to this one. Again, these extend out a lot longer than this. Again, I'd rather have the little short stubbier version compared to the long version. The one downside to this setup is when they are mounted onto the bottom of your camera, your camera does not sit flat due to the fact of this pin. Now that's going to be the same with any harness or strap system you get due to the fact that you're going to have the little quarter 20 thread with the uh, D ring on it to lock into your clip. It's not going to let, allow you to set any of these flat onto 
a table when they're mounted onto your camera, unless you re remove those plates. Between these here, I've never had any issues with any of these uh, pins coming out or coming loose. You throw a little thread lock in there and it's pretty much guaranteed they're not gonna come out. I've never had any of these, uh, I've never dropped a camera using these at all. Um, again, it has a wide V uh, channel in the top of the spider holster clamp that mounts to your side and it channels right in there. Uh, if you're afraid of that, you can always go with some kind of tethering system. They, again, this one has, oh, this one don't, this one has the tethering set up for it, or you can buy for $9.95, I think it is. They sell what they call a, a strap. Um, it's a little D ring on a metal plate that screws into one of these. And you can use that for your tethering setup as well. My tethering setup is actually mounted to my belt or my camera strap, so I don't need that. And it actually locks onto the other half of the camera. Again, this is the different variations of the spider holster plates. My name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and thank you for watching.